First tonight, large scale clean energy projects from Pennsylvania to California have been selected by the Biden administration for a program to kickstart development and production of hydrogen fuel. And West Virginia is playing a big part in this major plan. So we have team coverage for you tonight from two areas in our region that were selected to house these hydrogen hubs. News Channel 3's Kim Rafferty joins us on scene from Bell, where one of these energy plants will be. As part of an $8 billion infrastructure law, two areas in our region of West Virginia were selected to be a major hub for hydrogen production. Another great big step forward in West Virginia, my gracious sakes of living. You know, we have been an energy state forever. We want to embrace all, you know, different forms of energy. The state applied for the hydrogen fuel program and of 23 finalists, West Virginia is one of seven states selected by the U.S. Department of Energy. Senator Joe Manchin says the law will bring 925 million federal dollars and 200,000 jobs, the majority of which will be in West Virginia, with more than $5 billion in private investment. Hydrogen has been around forever, but we've never invested in it to make sure that we could use it properly in a commercial setting. Now we are. We can blend hydrogen with coal burning, you can blend hydrogen with gas and everything and reduce the carbon footprint. Hydrogen hubs in West Virginia will be located at Bell in Kanawha County and Point Pleasant in Mason County. Bell's mayor David Fletcher says the announcement changes the course for eastern Kanawha County. A lot of businesses have left the area, uh, you know, with the four lane kind of bypassing our cities and towns up through both sides of the river, 60 and 61. He says Bell and Eastern Kanawha County have always been an energy hub. We've lived off of chemical plants and coal in the area for years and years and years. Uh, I'm still a firm believer. I think we've got to have the chemical plants. I think we still need the coal jobs. Uh, but, you know, whenever you can add anything else. Manchin says the hydrogen hubs will jumpstart production, transportation, and use in the country. Mayor Fletcher says he's reaching out to find out more information about where the plant will be and the timeline. In Bell, Kim Rafferty, WSAZ News Channel 3. All right, so Point Pleasant in Mason County is also considered part of this hydrogen hub. Leadership there says conversations have been happening with Fidelis New Energy for about a year now. News Channel 3's Kimberly Donahue is on scene in Point Pleasant, and there's excitement to make the hydrogen plant a reality. Area business leaders tell me from its location and proximity to rivers and railroads, Point Pleasant is the ideal location for Fidelis New Energy's campus. Mason County Development Authority's Executive Director John Musgrave says securing an 11,000 acre clean hydrogen campus for Fidelis New Energy has been a year in the making, saying the company will do more than produce hydrogen energy at the Point Pleasant plant. Part of the uh, Fidelis operation is a facility that will bring in a computer data bank operation and it'll be a subset of the hydrogen plant. It means a great deal to the whole region. With new course set to break ground next week, Musgrave says the future is bright in Mason County. We're going to have two major facilities here in Mason County that will employ really uh, several thousand people in permanent jobs and probably three or four thousand people in construction work. And I think Mason County in the next decade will probably double or triple in size population. Musgrave tells me it'll take about a year for Fidelis to complete its environmental study and get some permits all sorted out. And once everything is in place, a groundbreaking can happen and construction to start shortly after that. He estimates the facility can open up within two to three years. In Mason County, Kimberly Donahue, WSAZ News Channel 3.